My friends, SSD pricing, something that has limited people from actually being able to upgrade their systems completely to a non-mechanical setup. I mean, most people are running an SSD with the mechanical hard drive because for capacity, you just end up, you know, paying a lot more, but no more, says TrendForce. That is going away, especially if you look at the trends of NAND pricing and all of the NVMe drives. Prices are dropping like a butterfly that got touched by a man who wanted to kill it. Don't know why that was my metaphor. For. Anyways, Trendforce is saying that the price per gigabyte on SSDs could drop as low on average as one cent per gigabyte by the year end, which would mean that drives become insanely cheap. However, while that might be what we're expecting on average, there are still some sweet deals that are actually already at that price right now, making SSDs such a delicious offering. And such as Intel's two terabyte 660p, this was one cent per gigabyte, we'd be looking at 200 plus dollars. So it's already even under that for something that is an M.2 SSD. That's quite delicious. That is ridiculously cheap for an NVMe drive. Sure, it's not as fast as let's say a 970 Evo Plus, but with 1.8 gigabytes in read and write speeds, that's plenty fast for most average consumers. And I wanna take a second to point out a new deal that I'm seeing on Wootware's website here in South Africa, in case anybody cares about that. They are launching their Mushkin one terabyte Helix drives, and that's going for 1,900 Rand. Okay, that's not quite the price of one or 10 cents per gigabyte. However, that's around 13 cents per gigabyte if you convert it to dollars after Rand, which actually isn't terrible considering the markup that we usually have here in South Africa. So one terabyte, NVMe drive for 1,900 Rand is insanely cheap and it looks like SSD pricing is going to continue to get lower. So I'm curious, I wanna hear from all of you. Are you running an SSD only system? Or if you haven't been, what has stopped you? Has it been priced for capacity of SSDs? $200 for a super fast storage drive it actually doesn't sound too ridiculous to me at this point. point. Right. Is this going to influence you to actually upgrade your hard drive into something more fast, speedy, it's quick, quick. Let me know down in the comments, keen to hear from you. Hit the like button if you enjoyed this little hot news. Are you buying some SSDs? We'll leave links if you wanna pick something up. Affiliate links, that is. Get subscribed to stay up to date on all of our news-related stuff. I'm Brett, love you too, bye.